I think uh, it's a director's role to encourage risk and simultaneously make sure that all the mechanisms are in place such that uh, risks can happen safely. And I learned that at quite an early point in my career uh, in uh, quite uh, a humorous way. Um, I worked for the Arts Council on their, as a director of their Creative Partnerships programme, which was an initiative set up by the Department of Culture, Media and Sport to bring artists into schools to help support creative learning. And it was set up very quickly with quite large budgets um, and was simultaneously operating in, in a bureaucratic context of city councils meeting arts council meeting government but they wanted creative risky ideas to um, manifest themselves almost instantly so it was quite a, a stressful environment to work in and the director of the whole program was peter jenkinson who had previously been director at the new art gallery in warsaw where he'd brought a, an amazing building to fruition um, and he was new to working within uh, a bureaucracy like the Arts Council. So to support each of the programmes in the, the 16 regions across the country that were developing them, there had to be a proper business plan and um, all the kinds of um, administrative and, and bureaucratic things that do need to be in place in order that public money can be spent well. So there was a section in the plan which said, um, this is about um, risk and your programme. And the Arts Council clearly intended that to be the section where the risk registers sat and where you set out your approach to your method statements around risk management and, um, and dealt with all of that material. Peter sent an email around to all of his directors and said, the section about risk, that's where I'm expecting you to write how you're going to take some. And experiencing the, the pull between the please do take some and make sure you've got your risk registers in place. I learned something that has been one of the most valuable things um, through the, the whole of the rest of my career. Because all risks do need to be managed well. And I now operate within the City Council and the University of Manchester. And they have fantastic regimes of risk management. So there are health and safety officers and there are risk management committees and we do maintain risk registers and use red, amber, green um, mechanisms for flagging up and assessing whether we ought to be paying attention to a particular risk or not. And if that gets to be the only way that you talk about risk, you really end up not being able to allow things like Kira Riley rolling down a staircase or Amanda Coogan flinging herself half naked off a balcony onto a pile of mattresses or many, many of the other things that we've done as part of the, the variety of exhibitions that we've done over the last eight years. So you have to have a strong culture of the right people and the right type of people managing the risk but you have to have alongside that an equally strong culture for, yes, I've assessed it and we definitely need to take this risk. Because the thing that fascinates me most is that too often people think risk management means not having any risk. And, you know, if you haven't got any risk or any stress, you're practically dead. And actually, really good risk management means that somebody like me can champion something that looks really difficult but actually is just going to be particularly well managed so that a really bold, brave thing can happen. And when I look around um, the art sector to the peers that I admire tremendously, it's organisations like Art Angel who, as a kind of muscle reflex, take huge risks. You know, they take their work into places that would never be thought of as sites for visual arts or installation. They assist artists in realising apparently impossible projects because they're very brave and they stick to their commitment to helping an artist to realise what they want to do. But they also have the best technical experts 
in terms of making sure that everything that needs to be in place is there. And it's that balance that makes truly great artworks emerge. <laughs>